Hello, and how are you this lovely Friday evening? Today is a groundbreaking day, not only because I shaved, which, let's be real, is a pretty big achievement in and of itself, but also because for a while I've been accumulating glass jars um, at Yvonne's request because she's had some sort of project in mind for them. It's a surprise. You probably saw them uh, when I showed the progress of cleaning at my place, just kind of stacked about in some corner or another. But finally, Yvonne has taken them to her place, along with her collection from her old barista job, and she's going to be today... And some jars. Some of these And some other myself, yeah. jars. And she's going to be using a magical mixture elixir. That I found on Pinterest, and it's baking soda and vegetable oil, and you put it on the labels, and wait, I think, half an hour, 15 minutes, I don't really know, I'll look it up. And then wiped it off the paper towel. Basically yes. like DIY Goo Gone. Yeah. I'm really Allegedly, excited. I'm really excited to try it least. because Goo Gone is my favorite thing. So I tell them about my <laughs> I have a thing I have a tendency to like picket things, like labels and stuff. Like I like them to be gone and so I'll spend hours doing it and this makes it a lot easier. So I, I mean I've already like hand picked most of this stuff off, if not. But all there's of still them. like Sticky residue yeah, on a yeah. lot of like, them. Well, that was, you that can, you can actually one. see that yeah. really bad right there. That was the worst but one. Um, I've fortunately, it was in a visible them, place. But you can still see like but. some spots like around the corners where there's still sticky stuff. So I'm getting rid of it, and you will find out what they are used for eventually. Someday, even I don't know, <laughs> but that's fine. Oh, I'll figure it out someday. Also, this is Yvonne's sewing machine. Oh, you yeah, and. Yeah. I can uncase it. At some Actually, no, I... it's probably a bad idea because I have a lot of stuff like tucked in it that could explode out like okay. thread and stuff on this side. But this is the fantastic machine that was used to make the jacket that you saw Sabrina get. Was it just yesterday? It was that just you gave yesterday, it to her? yeah. yeah. Um, and that... You'll probably watch me work on it because I need to oil the machine later. Yeah. It's, it's a little squeaky. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's made... Um, the jacket. Did you make Pudge with this, or did you make Pudge no, by no, hand? I, I didn't okay. By hand. Either way, good job. Thank you. So Yvonne spent the last little while cleaning and oiling this thing, and it's her first experience, like actually cleaning and oiling this machine herself. I just, like wiped the inside so, down. So I mean, like, she's she's part. done some minor cleaning, but not like a full thorough, make sure that it's running as optimally as possible type of cleaning. Because I haven't used it that much. Unfortunately, I didn't get a before shot with the context. But I didn't want to film her while she was cleaning it because that would probably just end up stressing her out. Thank you. And <laughs> ultimately make for a not overall enjoyable experience. But I will go ahead and let her run it to be able to show you. It is very smooth now. She's I'm pretty, really happy. <laughs> she's pretty happy I'm, about it. That's, that's a sound I have. I don't think I've ever heard out of this machine. Because this machine like that is ease like of motion. 20 years old and it's never been oiled or cleaned probably properly yeah. um so basically I'm, I'm what we found online was you basically just open up this box right here yeah. and shoot a bunch of oil in it and just spray oil <laughs> like all <everywhere>. over <laughs> just all over everything that moves but not too much but not too oil, much like just the moving parts yeah yeah so you like you go through and you use your hand just to, like find out what moves and what doesn't but basically that's all there is to it so any of you who need to do any sort of sewing machine maintenance there you go, that's all there is to it, really. Um, I'm sure there's all sorts of other moving machine parts inside right. that might need a little bit more attention. Right. But unless you're a professional and you feel comfortable opening up the machine on your own. Not about to do it. Prob probably best to just, to just not. Yeah. But yeah, you're back in business. Ooh. After uh, showing the oiling for the sewing machine and stuff, Yvonne tried wiping off the jars that she put the baking soda vegetable oil mixture onto to try to clear the gunk off. And as it turns out, not a perfect replacement for harsh solvents, but it works, asterisk. It, it could be a lot better. Anyways, um, I started getting some allergy stuff and so now I'm needing to be home and to be able to get over it. So, unfortunately, I had to bid her adieu for the night. And now I'm going to be getting to bed in the very near future, most likely. So, 
I will go ahead and say that that is all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I guess I will see you tomorrow. Thank you.